$30 million. That's what a judge awarded to a former spokesperson for the FLDS SEC for an alleged break-in on his property. Now it's time for the FLDS church to pay up, but what should be sold? Well, how about one of Warren Jeff's compounds in Hilldale? A place supposedly built for the purpose of conducting underage marriages. Two News Lad Egan, live in Washington County at the Courthouse of Moore. Lad, uh, this particular piece of property, how much is it worth? Well, Mark, it's sprawling. It's got schools, a storehouse, several large mansions, and some apartments. And the property tax records we could get our hands on put it at upwards of two and a half million dollars in current market value. Now, the man who has this judgment against FLDS leaders, Willie Jessup, he says he's glad that this property is going up for auction because he says it was designed and built, modeled after the Yearning for Zion Ranch in Texas, and he says it has secret rooms designed to carry out. Child sex abuse. It's a mansion built for polygamous leader Warren Jeffs, but one he's never lived in. The mansion compound will be sold to pay this man, Willie Jessup. It was about power, money, and sex. Jessup was once Prophet Jeff's right hand man, but says he didn't know what was really going on. There was little girls that were secretly put in these houses of hiding and put in these secret rooms, and you know, raped. His devotion came to a screeching halt when he says he discovered audio tapes of Warren Jeffs raping girls. The terrible details of what had happened to him, it was the worst day of my life. When FLDS leaders learned of his descent, Jessup says they ordered the destruction of his prosperous excavating company. He sued for damages and was awarded 30 million and to get some of his money, he wants this compound sold. And it was just a perfect breeding ground for some terrible crimes. Inside the sprawling six acre compound, there's mansions, apartments, a food storehouse and a school, all surrounded by this imposing 12 foot high wall. And if you need that kind of secrecy and this level of security and this type of problem, there's usually something wrong. Auctioning the compound won't get him nearly all the money he's owed, but Jessup says it's his first priority to make sure the property can't be used to abuse children. Believing that we were involved in a very uh, sacred and holy project, only to, to find later that it was being used to build basically a glorified porn palace. The main mansion for Warren Jeffs built on that compound was only constructed a few years ago while the leader was still awaiting trial in Texas. I'm told that uh, FLDS members sacrificed a lot to build the mansion and they were told if they did that, that Jeffs would be acquitted and then would come back to Utah to live there at the mansion. I should note, uh, Mark, that this property is not part of the massive communal property trust that's also in litigation. This property is privately owned by the Jeffs family. That auction should be held here April 25th on the steps of the courthouse in St. George. Mark, back to you. All right, lad, thanks.